welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here i am kitty claus 18 and i love nails to all my returning subscribers hey what's up so yes i'm gonna be doing my nails um so as you can see they're already been applied um i don't remember where i got these nail tips from i'll be honest with you i think these are zule's nail tips um but i'll have it linked in the description box below can't remember off the top of my head right now um, and I'm just going through my steps. So they've already been primed, cut down to the length I want. Um, and if you want to see how I get my nails all the same length, I have a video on my TikTok. If you're not following me on my TikTok, please do boost your girl. I'm trying to be good on these social media outlets, I'm trying to build that. So go check out my TikTok, Kitty Clothes 18. Um, you can check out my Instagram, Kitty Clothes 18. But if you want to see how I get all my nail tips, like cut them, um, the same length for myself and even for clients go check out my um, TikTok video anyway so the nails are on they're cut to the length I want them and these are kind of um, I would say these are short for me I usually do a little bit more length than this but I decided to do they cut it down just a little bit um, because a change of pace is always good and I've, I've been ripping and running and when my nails are longer and I'm ripping and running, I always bang my nail. Always. Because I'm clumsy like that. I'm not gonna lie. I'm clumsy. Super clumsy. Um, me and my, and I passed down the clumsy gene cause my child, she clumsy too. It's my fault. It's me. I know. It's cool though. We've come to terms with it. Anyway, so what you saw me first do was, cause I've, filed and buffed and blended the nail tip into the nail plate so what i did was i spray with 50 percent alcohol because i find 100 percent alcohol is very drying on the nail and in your hands and your skin and then i sprayed the 50 percent, which doesn't dry your skin out as badly i use my manicure brush and i scrub 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 and then you just see me prepping with um dehydrator my primer i use young nails primer and now i'm showing you my colors and this eye gel beauty one that one is a cum supposed to change colors but i'll be honest with you and I've, I've had these nails on for a good week now i don't really see them changing colors anymore so that's a miss for ajo for me it was changing as i was putting it on but now i'm just like wait a minute i've had these nails for a good week and a half and yeah it's not so hmm anyway so I'm using Mia Secret uh, Cover Nude and the Cover Beige. I'm love. I use Cover. Uh, my cover colors are from Mia Secret. Sorry, that's just me. Everybody has a preference, but they work for me, and I love them. Um, then I'm using Young Nails Monomer, and I'm as you can tell, I switch my brush, and I'm using my Nails and Bling blinks brush the little the brush that has the heart at the end because well yeah it's valentine's so you're gonna see me use that brush a lot because it's so it's so cute it's so cute if you haven't checked her out nails and blinks please do that um i'm not sponsored by any means or nothing like that i spent my good hard-earned money and bought some products from her brought the brush from her i haven't bought i haven't purchased anything else yet but i plan to purchase her pinks oh my god that's a lot of pop, pop, pop. did y'all hear that anyway I said plan to purchase some pinks. <laughs> I crack myself up. Anyway, I'm sorry. Um, her, she has like a pink acrylic collection. I love it. Every pink she has, I love it. So I plan on purchasing that, purchasing that next. Anywho, back to the video. I'm using my Young Nails Clear Acrylic and my Young Nails Monomer. And I'm applying a base of clear acrylic. Why do I do that? Because I learned the hard way. Um, when I, when you use colored acrylic, this is just me. This is what happened to me, but I'm sure it happens. Um, it stains my nail and yeah. So ever since then, always put a base of clear, no matter what I'm using. But I also, the other reason I put a base of clear is because, um, when it comes down to like file down and redesign, you have something to file it back to, you know what I'm saying? Um, because you especially me i never know what design i'm going to do next so let me be able to file it back to a clearer or as clear as possible as i can get it you know what i mean so that's why i do it so that's what i'm doing here first and yeah you're gonna see me apply the bait let me say something kitties i just did everything i'm not even gonna lie to you 
I had no plan. I just knew I wanted to do something Valentine-y. But I had no plan. So, yeah, I kind of just went for it. This is a glitter mix that I mixed myself and made for myself. Um, if you want to learn or know about gl like mixing glitters and acrylic powders and stuff like that, I have some videos on my channel. I will link them for you. Um, so you guys can go check out those videos. But your girl was freestyling. Freestyling. And on top of that, I was watching TV. And I was doing a bunch of stuff. Like, that color I just pulled out, I didn't even use it. <laughs> I was looking for the Young Nails one that has, like, a little sparkle. And I was looking for regular white. Because, of course, I decided at the last second, I'm a marble, too. Let me tell y'all something. Kitties, your girl be at that table just doing things for doing them sake like i was just okay what am i gonna do so then i said well let me try um i wanted to make like you know like back in the day when we was young and in your notebook you would scribble the you know somebody's name and put hearts and what you know like that so i was like oh i could do like a notebook uh, nail so what I decided was I was gonna use me I'm using me a secret white and I'm gonna do a white nail and then I'm gonna turn it into like a loose leaf paper I know with all these new digital age peoples I don't know if they still remember loose leaf paper because I know my child does not even use paper anymore like everything is on the computer for them even for school so who remember loose leaf <laughs> Drop a blue heart emoji in the comment section down below. Or if, you, if you're not watching this on your phone or whatever, just type out. Just type blue heart so I know that you're actually watching this video. But who remembers loose leaf paper? Like, that was a thing. But anyways, so for that, I'm ombreing the sum. Uh, using that iGel Beauty color change color. And as you can see, in the bottle, it's like a pinkish plumish kind of pink and then it goes on this really dark purple which i actually like a lot um so you'll see that color it like i said um it does change color so it's just i guess maybe i have too much stuff going on i don't know i don't know i'm gonna try it again that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna be fair and i'm gonna try it again but I'm going to make the color change color the focal point of the nail set. Now, the reason I was going ham talking about loose leaf paper is because that white nail I'm going to turn, I'm going to design it to look like a sheet of loose leaf paper. And then I'm going to use these Artisto, um, um, they're like acrylic mark paint markers. Um, and they're really dope for designs, like really dope. So... I'm going to show you how to use that and I will have it linked in the description box below if you want to go try it. I got it from Amazon um, and they're, they're dope. It, I got a set and I got, I think it came with 15 colors or I could be lying, but more than enough colors that you need to do some really nice nail designs with. That's all. <laughs> Leaving it in the description box below. So yeah, for my ring finger, I'm using a glitter mix that I made. And like I said before, if you want any tips or tricks in glitter mixing, um, I definitely have a video or two or three about that on my channel. And actually, it's one of my most watched videos, like, like legitimately, like most watched. So I'll probably have it linked in the card somewhere and then you guys can go check that out. Um, everyone always asks me where I get my glitters from everywhere, everywhere. I get it from everywhere. Um whoever sells glitters i will find it uh, i will say not every glitter is the same some glitters because we're using it for um, acrylic and we're using monomer and chemicals like that some of sometimes when you use it um and you're trying to encapsulate it or whatever it the color will just be drained out because of the monomer so what i would suggest is if you're buying any glitter that you think you can use for nails you can test it out to see if the if it loses its color or luster or shine or whatever um just do a test run but i can say the glitters the glitters i purchased from target walmart um amazon um even aliexpress stuff like that uh, shein 
never had a problem with the change in color um some like 99 cent store glitters yes i've had a problem <laughs> yeah um so i kind of stay away from those but even and i can even say that because dollar tree which i feel like is just it's like a 99 cent store it's just a $1.25 now but like i get glitters from them and they don't fade or churn on me so i can't i do a test run do a test run i know for a fact the walmart glitters the target glitters they have never i've never had an issue with them so just do a test okay so as you can see we're ombre here nice and flush and cute and i decided to add some of my glitter to that ombre um just to give it an extra oomph like i said guys i didn't know what the heck i was gonna do I had no clue i didn't go in with a plan um i, I just was doing things that's all i <laughs> didn't have a plan i don't know let me know if sometimes uh, you guys do the same thing where it's just like especially if like you do nails for other people right when i can't even say that um just in general like you'll have all these ideas and then the moment that comes for you to do your nails and you're like um don't know so for me I, I take clients right so i'll have creativity for them like absolutely just just creativity for them right and we'll one thing about my clients we sit there we come up with designs together like we add things we take things out we we work cooperatively right and i think that's that's great like you want to you're doing art on their nails but i feel like they should have reasonable reasonably <laughs> a bit opinion i mean come on um but when it comes to me chow no I, I legit i'm not even gonna lie to you i would sit at my nail desk a good two hours just lollygagging because i can't figure out what to do I don't know. Is it, I hope it's not just me. Please tell me I'm not alone. Please put hot hashtag not alone if you do the same thing. That when the moment it comes time for you to sit down and actually do your nails, you either draw a blank or the concept you had in your head is not at all what you do. Or you pull out, dang it, everything you own, drop it on your nail table, okay, and you just be doing things. Please put hashtag not alone. Please let me know. I'm not by myself. Anyway, so the pointer finger with the Mailar Flake came out superb. Like, I kind of wish I didn't do anything. Like, I wish I had a whole hand of that nail right there. Because I loved how that deep purple with the Mailar looks. Like, it looks beautiful. So I feel like... I'm definitely going to have to incorporate that in another set. Um, definitely have to. I, I don't know. It just looks great. So, but I just kept, like I said, I, I was just doing things. So for these nails, I'm now in, going to add the little Fimo slices. So usually you get like the heart one, um, heart ones, the fruit ones. But these are like little hearts. They look like um, little sweet tarts. Uh, like the candy that they give away on... Um, I'm going to say Halloween. Oh, my gosh. Valentine's Day and stuff. So, the thing... I have a love-hate relationship with Fimo. I think they're beautiful. I think they're fun. Um, and they're cool to encapsulate if their thickness is not an issue. I feel like sometimes when you get them cut... like Because I've seen them not cut. Like, they'll, <laughs> they'll give it to you in a, a long, like, stick with the shape. And you cut them yourself. And I was like, yeah, I'm not doing that. So I just buy them how we normally buy them, right? But there's always a few in the package that are way too thick to encapsulate. Um, so stay away from that. Be mindful of that. Because you also don't want... in When you're doing encapsulations, you don't want your nails to be super fat and chunky. Is the best way I can put it. You don't want them to... Um, I mean, unless that's your thing. But uh, then do you, boo. Do you. But typically, you don't want that. So, yeah. 
Um, on this nail, I'm doing a tri-colored ombre thing. So that the tip, the very tip, just has that eye gel beauty color, which, it, like I said, will be linked in the description box below. Then I have my glitter. And then I have the Mia Secrets beige as the base that it, that um, that's near the cuticle. That color right there. And, yeah, that's that. These nails were fun to do. I'm not even going to lie. I enjoyed doing them. Um, I wish I had more of a design concept, but I didn't. <laughs> but I still think they came out cute. I don't know. You guys will see the finished look and you guys will let me know for sure. I know you will. <laughs> if they are or if they're not. So now I am going to do my encapsulation part. I have to cap all of these and I'm using my Mia Secret. No, I'm lying. Young Nails Clear Acrylic. And we're going to cap, 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 cap. We have female in here. We have Mailer Flakes. We have glitter. So yeah, you kind of want to make sure <laughs> when you do your finished filing that all these beautiful things you place on the nail does not just get filed away. So I'm just going to go about capping um, all my nails in clear. Okay, and now that we're all capped, all my nails are capped in acrylic, clear acrylic, I'm going in with my um, nail file, and I am just filing off to regain the shape I need and get it back nice and cute. Oh my gosh, when when you are, <laughs> when you're filing your nails in general, like in general, you just, it's weird, like just how you have to hold your hand and blah, blah, blah. But like when you're following it on camera, it's even weirder because it's like you got to make sure you're in shot, but you also want to make sure your nails are straight and good. So you're just like, am I, is the camera catching this? Am I, am I good? What's going on? And then, I don't know, anyone who does YouTube, if you do your own YouTube and you do nails on YouTube, you guys know what I mean. Like it's a struggle to file your nails on camera. Like it just is. So I try to do as much as I can on camera when it gets to this part, but sometimes I just turn the camera, like pause the video, and I just go ham on my own, okay? Because like I said, it's just difficult in general. But all you're doing is trying to regain your shape, get that shape back, and then uh, make it nice and pretty and smooth and sharp as best as much as you possibly can. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what's going on here, just falling away. To, all, to anybody who's doing nails, doing their own nails, starting off on their nail journey, always remember to season your files, please. Because I use an 80 grit file, okay? And if you don't season that file and you start going in on somebody's nail, it just needs a little bit to cut somebody's nail, especially with an 80 grit nail file. So you take another nail file, um, and this nail file will not be used on clients or whatever. And you just score the edges of the file. That's what it's meant by seasoning your files. Just to make sure you kind of get off the super hard edges on the edge of the file. Especially if you're using a higher, a smaller grit. Because that means it's the, it's more coarse. So yeah. Um, just be mindful. Don't hurt yourself or anybody else. Don't cut and break anyone's skin don't cut or break your own skin and yeah pretty much so i'm gonna be filing 
and then I'm going to be using my sanding bands to go ham and file some more and make sure the cuticle area is flush and get the um, encapsulation nice and smooth. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. So all the filing is done. I'm using my 50% alcohol and my wipe here and I'm just getting everything cleaned out really nice and clean. And then we're going to get into the nail art people so like i said all the other nails just get a nice regular gel top coat but the white nail gets a matte top coat cured for 60 seconds and then i go in with my gel colors i didn't use any gel paint i just used like gel polish to do the nail design so as you can see at this point <laughs> i had already started okay i'm sorry um i didn't realize i wasn't recording and then when i realized i was like oh, i'm not doing these lines again so pretty much i got a nice blue color from my Vena Lisa gel polish collection and those are the lines of the loose leaf paper i kind of wish i made it a little bit darker it was to me after the fact i realized it was kind of light it should have been a darker blue but it worked and then I'm using the red, a, a red Vanalisa gel polish, I believe. And I'm just making that one red line that used to go down the side of the loose leaf paper. I cured each step uh, for 60 seconds. So when I did the lines, I cured it for 60 seconds. Then I came back and did the red line, curing that now for 60 seconds. So guys, these are the paint marker pens I was talking about. It's called Artisto. And I ordered it from Amazon and I will definitely leave it linked in the description box below because these were bomb for nail designs. As you can see, all you do is you have to shake the pen until the ink gets to the bottom and kind of blot it on a you know piece of paper or whatever um, to get the ink flowing and out. And then you can just go ahead and use it. Uh, that's why I matte top coat again on top of what I did. Um, because it needs a nice matte um, uh, canvas, I want to say, nail canvas. And then you can just go ahead and go at it. Um, what I do is after I draw anything on, because it is like a paint pen, whatever, allow it to dry. And it, it air dries real fast, like literally in like 15 seconds, okay? But just make sure it's nice and dry. And then you can go right ahead and top coat it without... I haven't had a problem with it bleeding. I thought I might have that issue like, oh my God, if I put a top coat, it's going to run. It doesn't. If if you wait the extra 15 seconds to let it dry, you're good. Literally. And I mean 15 seconds. Like, it's dry. Okay? When you first put it on, it it it's a paint, so it's a little wet. But it dries completely. And then, boom, top coat that bad boy. Or you can matte top coat it to, you know, make it stand out like loosely paper for real. Um, and that's it. Well, this time around, the gel top coat I'm using is this Young Nails Ultimate Finish Gel. She's a little bit thick, but she has a beautiful shine. Beautiful shine. She's a little bit thick, though. A little bit thick. But I like her. I really like her. Okay, kitties, and this is the final look. This is how they came out. I thought they were so cute. I definitely would have, or should have, in my opinion, made the loose leaf nail um, matte, but I still think it came out cute. What do you guys think? Like I said, I did a little bit of everything, okay? Um, just threw it out there and said, we gonna do whatever, but I still think it's cute. Uh, a lot of my clients loved it. Uh, my coworkers loved it. So, yeah, these are them. That's it. That's all. <laughs> I will, of course, leave everything linked in the description box below. Go try out those pens. They were really cool. Really cool. You'll have fun with them. But anyways, so, like I love to tell you guys, thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching my video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe share this video with everyone and anyone and like i always tell you guys stay safe stay blessed stay prayed up and until next time bye kitties